Hi everyone and welcome to today's card creation for Trinity Stamps. We're going to be using Let Love Grow stamp sets and this trio of embossing powders. We've got Oceanic, Midnight Dream and Blue, Primary Beautiful. They're such a beautiful array of colours to play with today. So we're going with more teal, aqua, blues kind of feel. Um, now I'm going to use the WOW Clear Ultra Slow Drying Ink here. This is great for embossing um, and cap get just getting all the details for stamps, especially for um, some beautiful floral arrangements. So today we're going to be using the smaller versions um, of the actual stamps that come in this set. Um, and I'm just going to be basically stamping randomly, trying to do a pattern um, but not really adhering to a style or pattern as such. I'm just kind of working my way through each color. So that first glitter, um, embossing glitter there we used is Midnight Dream. And then I'm going to use Primary Beautiful. So I work one color at a time. Um, actually, no, I use Oce Oceanic second and then Primary Beautiful the third color. And then I'm just capturing all the excess powder on a scrap piece of white paper there, some copy paper. Um, and then I just funnel it straight back in. And then I'm just heat setting it with the new WOW Embossing Heat Tool there as well. Isn't it pretty and white? Okay, and then working on my last image. And um, there's no particular method to my stamping. I'm trying to create a pattern, but um, I'm not really too worried, um, it being perfect. And then you can now see the primary beautiful, isn't it? A beautiful color. It's as beautiful as it is non-heat set. <laughs> All right, so once I've heat set the third color, I'm going to be then die cutting it out with a stitched rectangle die. And I'll run that through the big shot. I am going to secure it down with some washi tape. I find, um, depending how warped your plates are and the sandwich that you have in your big shot or die cutting machine. I've got some Sharpie markers here. What I'm going to show you today is a little bit of details that I've been recently adding to my card making. Um, I've been, I found this um, fine tip permanent markers from Sharpie and I had a beautiful array of bright vibrant colors um, and I am just adding details around each of the stamped or heat embossed image and I'm using just aquas blues and teals again as they had that color available in that Sharpie set and then I'm just adding some fine details um, no yeah there's just adding details I'm not doing anything fancy um, and I work my way through each color as you can see here I've got like an aqua marker or it's a bluey aqua marker um, here for you Here is the darkest of the blues. This is more like a navy and I thought it was actually quite fitting um, and to use it with the Midnight Dream embossing powder glitter here. I'm just making my way around. Now, if that wasn't enough dots, <laughs> I've actually also done around the border of this stitch rectangle die cut out here. So I've just used um, just a straight piece of cardstock just white piece of cardstock and I'm just using it as a guide I'm not really that straight so I love to use rulers or something that gives me a little bit of a guide and I just work around the borders nearly finished and then basically once I've worked around all the borders I, f I foam mount this on a it's a, like a dark peacock type of turquoise cardstock. Don't know the name. Found it in my stash. Thought I had to use it because it matched the powders. So I'm using my three um, three mount three M mount tape. Is that the name? 
came close anyway. I've got <laughs> I've got the actual Catherine Pooler Juniper ink here. Um, coordinated really well with the marker and the embossing powder and glitter. I have used like a pennant die from an old stash that I had here and then I've cut it out twice. One matches the actual card base um, and I have foam mount in between that. And then I'm just going to adhere that panel here just with some liquid adhesive from Tonic. Um, very generously, shall I add. <laughs> And that is my card. It's very simple um, and just fun. Just a fun, different type of card today. Um, and as you can see in the photo, I just added a couple of extra sequins on the card just to finish it off. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's card creation. See you later. Bye.